Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna to take a quick look at this Gen Y Phantom X ball mount with stacked receivers. This is gonna be a great option for those of you who are uh, oftentimes switching uh, between one trailer and another. You wanna be able to uh, switch your ball height so that you can accommodate those different trailers, uh, make sure that they're gonna be riding level. Uh, this is going to give you quite a bit of adjustability, uh, very simple to do, you just pull out the uh, clip here and the pin and then you'll be able to move that ball to uh, several different height settings uh, to accommodate those different trailers uh, ride heights. Uh, this will have the two and a half inch shank that will slide into your hitch receiver on your vehicle. Uh, one kind of unique thing about this is that uh, typically your shank and your receivers are the same size. So if you've got a two and a half inch, you'll have two and a half inch receivers, uh, but these are actually two inch receivers. So uh, if you've got a lot of two inch accessories that you often use uh, and you just now upgraded to a two and a half inch hitch or something along those lines, uh, this can be a great option for that situation. Uh, you can see that we do have the included two inch ball, two and five sixteenth inch ball, as well as uh, your uh, locking point here. So if you have a lunette ring, uh, you can use that. Uh, so multiple different kinds of couplers. Again, if you're hooking up to multiple trailers uh, throughout the day, uh, you can very easily switch between uh, which uh, size ball you're using or if you're using that uh, pintle lock or not. Uh, so this is constructed of a heavy duty steel construction. Gen Y has a great reputation for building very solid, robust products. Uh, as you can see, the shank is solid, so it is going to be very durable for us. This is going to give us a 16,000 pound gross towing weight and a, a 1,600 pound tongue weight. We do have the four stacked receivers that are that two inch by two inch, as I said. Uh, so we can put this uh, ball in the lowest point here and that will give us a max drop of about seven and a half inches. We measure that from the top inside edge of your receiver or the top of the shank here down to uh, your ball platform, which is about where your coupler is going to sit. So if your coupler on your trailer sits about seven and a half inches lower than the top of your receiver tube, uh, this will work great for you. And then you can also use it in the rise position. Just flip it over like so. Like I said, very simple to pull out that pin. You can move that to the highest setting there, put your pin back through, and then that's gonna give you a max rise of about seven and a half inches as well. Of course, you've got all those incremental changes between there, so again, uh, can accommodate different trailer ride heights and make sure they're all gonna be riding nice and level for you. This is made here in the USA, uh, so you can trust it is gonna be good quality. It also comes with a limited lifetime warranty, so if you were to have any issues with it, you're more than welcome to reach out to us here at eTrailer.com. Uh, but overall, I think this is gonna be a great option, uh, especially, like I said, for those of you who are gonna be switching trailers pretty frequently, uh, have that adjustability, very easy to use, uh, to make sure that your trailer is gonna be nice and level. And that completes our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.